Welcome back again guys. Well, we're back out in the bush in another creek. Yes, we're in another creek trying to find that nice little honey hole of gold. So this is a creek I have not panned before. So hopefully we can get onto a bit, find a nice little pocket and get the high banker down here or something and give it a bit of a run. There is diggings up the side of this creek. So it's a well worked area. So hopefully we can get onto some gold. Well, I've wandered down the creek a little and uh, yeah, found a nice little bit of bedrock, got some heavies dropping out. So I thought, why not? Let's give this a test just here, see what we can come up with. Hopefully, we can find a nice little pocket of gold. Yeah, get a nice little take for the day. I only got a bit of an afternoon session going, so we haven't got a whole lot of time, but we'll soon work it out if there's gold in this creek or not. This is half a dozen little fly poops, but uh, yeah, not enough, so we'll keep on searching. Do you have gold? Not a lot. A few fly poops, but uh, yeah, maybe that's not quite the spot, but yeah, we'll punch another hole down, we'll see what we can come up with. Another one, but it's in a bit of a straight section of the creek and actually had slightly larger specks. Uh, still probably only half a dozen, but they're a little bit bigger. So now, I might actually do one towards the middle of the creek here, um, just where the big stones are dropping out. Give it a crack, cross the creek there, might do a couple of punch, punch a couple across, just to see if it is more in the general flow of the creek. And uh, yeah, it's obviously slowing there because all the big rocks are dropped out, so we'll give that a go and uh, see if that has any colour. So I took one out of the middle there, there's like a little gutter that uh, I cut across and straight down, and there seems like it's just a little gutter each side. Um, Oh, sorry, a little gutter in the middle and sort of clay each side, so I'd say when the creek was a little bit, well, some time ago, um, it may have had a little cut through the clay there, so it had a couple of bits, but not a great deal. So it might be a bit hard to pick up, but yeah, there's a couple little fly poops up in here. Nothing extraordinary, so I'll punch another hole, see how we go. We've done a pan to find this big rock. Uh, the first one initially was beside it. I've done a bit of one on this side, but it was really not good gravel at all. So I've done one behind it, and look, I've got about a dozen spec count on that one, so it's probably looking a little bit better. So there we go, guys. There's a good dozen or more specks there, so that's not too bad at all. Um, we might have to punch another hole down beside that rock, I think. Alrighty, guys, so I've taken another one out of the back of that rock. Um, sort of went that way. A little bit finer material. So it's still going down, there's still gravel. Um, I've got about a dozen spec count in the pan, so I'll show you that. So there we go guys, it's about a dozen spec count there, not looking too bad. So why are the gold still coming? I'll keep testing, because there uh, seems to be a bit of gold around that rock. This one guys, it feels like I'm starting to get down to the bottom, maybe almost onto a clay level, but yeah, it's still gravel coming out, so we're not at the bottom yet.
Alrighty guys, well that was not exciting. Um, seeing the first two pans behind that big rock, really good. Probably got about 20, 25 little colours, but <laughs> more of Doug's worse than got, so we'll give that one a miss. Anyway, I'm gonna do something I don't do very often, or probably should do more often, is have a little crack at the like the wall of the creek. So you can see there's a big lump of uh, clay build up just there, but just before there's a bit of a hollow with a nice sized rock in it. So I might have a bit of a dig of that. We'll give that a test. Hopefully that might be a bit more promising than what I've done so far. I've taken one out of the side out of here. I'll tell you what, it's actually quite a cracking pan. I'm pretty happy with it. So I've come in just behind the clay layer there, like a little hole. I'll give you a look what I got. Alrighty guys, check that out. That is nice. There's uh, probably a good 10 to a dozen there, but there's two good little stickers. So I'm pretty happy with that. I might have to take another pan out of there for sure. So this is the hole I got it out of. So as you can see, just behind, High, oh, just in front of it there, we've got a bit of a clay layer, so it's, it's getting held up there, but yeah, look at this little guy. Yeah, the little frog. We'll have to just relocate him out of the hole so we can get a little bit more of this gravel, I think. This is, uh, this is paying alright, this bit. Let's see if we can uh, replicate that, though. That's always a thing. One thing to get a good pan, but can you back it up with another one? I'm going to find out. I'm going to have another crack at this hole here. Let's see if we get another one. I'm taking a couple more out of there. I haven't been able to quite replicate the first pan, but the other two have had a nice little sticker in each one. So it seems like if I keep up a bit in the bigger gravels, it seems to go all right. But anyway, I will give it another one. But before then, I'll give you a bit of a look that we've got in this pan. Radio, so there we have it. Not a bad looking piece. Uh, pretty happy with that one. So if, yeah, if you got one of them every pan, or a couple, they'd soon add up. So I'll give it another hit just in there, and we'll see how we go with the next one. Well guys, I've got a nice little one. Um, not a lot of finds. So it did come from above the waterline. There's a few larger rocks, so I might do another one in the same place. But anyway guys, before I show you my nice little sticker, I get a few people saying, do you think it's worth your while, return on what you do for your efforts and all that, but it's not really about what you get monetary wise or gold wise all about getting out bush enjoying yourself yeah, you can say it's relaxing but you can work up a bit of sweat but it's all it's the thrill of the chase you see that little bit of gold in the pan and like it just gets you excited so and that's why i do like high banking so you do a bit of high banking you can really get a nice bit of color that little golden smile at the end it's always pretty exciting you know what you got it is that nice little piece looks like a little bit of flat lead shot there too but yeah that's probably the first bit of lead shot so far yeah nice little sticker that one so might have another crack. Yeah, you might get in here where this big rock is. I'll take this section just here and see what that holds. Well guys, I basically took that rock uh, above the waterline, a little bit in it. Uh, I didn't get another big sticker, but I, I got more fine gold, so that was interesting. But um, yeah, if I can get some, well, no, if I can get some rain, if we get some rain, I might consider bringing the high banker here. Um, there's probably enough water but I really would like to put the pump down the creek. Like, get it away, because it's noisy. So if I could stick the pump down around the corner, and get enough water, so if I do pump it back here, it could flow back around and recycle it, and we go again. But anyway, I reckon I'll have time for one more pan. And where I'm gonna go, is down under that ledge, there's some really rusty looking material. I'm gonna give that a crack, see if anything's in that. But anyway, just before that, I'll show you my little pan. There we go, one little nice bit. Half a dozen little friends, so not too bad at all. I'll snuffle that up. I'll go get some of this rusty material. Alrighty guys, the stuff I want is some rusty gear, just here. Looks nice and rusty looking, so it's got a lot of iron in it. So it's very mineralized. So hopefully it'll have some gold. It's rock hard. <laughs> well, 
all that stuff under there is rock hard but I've got a little tiny sample to run and yeah it actually had gold in it so uh oh, half dozen little tiny fly poops but yeah it's probably hard work the stuff over yonder is probably that little bit easier to work but yeah I'll give you a look at what I got Alrighty, so there it is you can see about half a dozen little fly poops nothing too huge but yeah shows that that material is carrying gold but the easier stuff to get is where it was before well guys that's about it I've done a snuffer dump and a little quick clean up so I'll give you a bit of a look at that but yeah I think I'm gonna call it for the day because uh, yeah the Sun has gone down so there we go not a bad effort uh, I'll tell you what it was a late start I probably wasted the first couple of hours uh, in other places before I found the somewhat little honey hole ish area so yeah in the end didn't turn out to be too bad I wish I'd have sort of hit that section up straight away because um probably would have ended up with a whole lot more but that's prospecting and that's why we're here we're out testing so hopefully in a couple of weeks time if we get a little bit of rain I might be back with the high bank and yeah we'll give it a real hit and see if we can replicate these pans because if I get one of those little stickers in every shovel we'll have a good day Anyway, guys, that's about it for this episode of Pete's Gold Adventures. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.